There are aliens living among us, and I need to find them. Oh my gosh, that dude's an alien. Hello, everybody! I'm Kindly Kian, and welcome to Find the Alien. Look at this. Two humans having a totally normal human conversation. Raw! One of these people is an alien. Now, at first glance, I would say it's the girl on the right, just because she's standing there like... A robot and it's weird but we have the power of x-ray technology and uh, as you can see that is a very human skeleton <laughs> Although the, the skull is so weird. Why is its mouth open, but her mouth is not open? But now let's move over to bald sensei. Aha. I think that this guy might actually be an alien. So do I have to blast him? I have to zap the alien? <laughs> Wait a second. That was her brother. They've been living in the same house for years and years, and she had no idea he was an alien. That's the story I'm going to tell myself. This seems fantastic. Let's move on to the next level. I'm going in. I love how just like some random stranger walks into these family homes with a bunch of weird devices and starts zapping aliens that people have thought were their family members for years. Find the aliens. It's this guy. Look at him. <laughs> so obvious. He looks very concerned. Honestly, he's having a very serious conversation with the lady next to him, uh, who, I might add, is definitely a human. I just love how the skull always has an open mouth, even though the human doesn't. It's very good. Oh, oh, interesting. Okay, so we can rotate around and, uh, and find more imposters among us. Alright, so polka dot dress girl, you're an alien, and, uh, um, top hat bobster guy, you're definitely an alien as well. Let's let's uh, detain them, I guess. All right, that's one. <laughs> so good. Okay, and then number two. There, I, I, it's just it's kind of sad because they're they're having a great time, and it's not like the aliens are doing anything wrong. I mean, maybe they're like getting a lay of the land, trying to like suss out their their victims before they do whatever it is that aliens do, abduct them, eat their brains, or something along those lines. But they seem to be having a great time. So maybe I'm the bad guy in this situation. Either way, let's move on to the next level. This is amazing. This time, I'm gonna try to figure out who the alien is before I actually use my x-ray machine. Okay, so we found ourselves in what I can only describe as a very awkward situation. First of all, it's bath time. I, I don't feel like I should be in here. Second of all, they're fighting over who gets to take a bath first. And again, I don't want to be involved. So whoever's playing the part of the alien is doing a great job. I think, hmm, who do you think is acting more suspicious? I think it's the lady on the right. I'm going out on a limb here. I don't like the way that her hands are, are waving around. It's it's unhuman-like. Let's, let's see. No! I would have killed you, but it's a good thing I have an alien detection device. I will save you from this monster. And hey, look at the bright side. No more arguing. You're welcome. Going upstairs. All right. What's going on up here? Family, family TV watching time. Can we we talk about how huge this person is at the front of the bed. Is she an alien? I'm kind of inclined to say that the giant person on the front of the bed is an alien. I was right. I was right. Are the people on the bed human? No, there's two aliens. Oh, I see that in the upper left hand corner. It tells you that there's two aliens. Um, get out of there, dude. They're going to eat your brains. <laughs> He's like, you just killed my wife. No, I saved your life, man. A simple thank you would be fine. I also just zapped your daughter. I assume that was a lovely family and now I've ruined his life. Sometimes living in ignorance is better right? Like he had no idea that his wife and his daughter were actually aliens, but he was having a great time. And then I love how like I kick the door down, come in there with my crazy future devices. And I'm like, there's an alien, zap him, kill him dead. I saved your life, sir. It's like, that was my wife. I'm definitely the bad guy in this story. And I'm kind of okay with it. Let's find more aliens. I'm going in. Find what? What? Can I open the door? Oh, hello, officer. Oh, you had heard about uh, the possible gunfire, laser fire. Oh, oh, okay. The neighbors are upset because, um, because apparently 
I've been killing aliens in the neighborhood or something. I don't know what's going on. Get that cop. That guy, that, he's, he's not talking or anything. He's being a weirdo. Zap him. <laughs> I'm gonna get arrested. I just shot a policeman with a laser. Where's the other alien? Leader of the aliens. And he's actually just a pizza delivery guy. Who would have thought? Very inconspicuous. You'd never think that the pizza delivery guy is actually king of all aliens. Pitiful human. You cannot stop the invasion. I like how he's telling me all of this with a smile on his face. I'll be back. <laughs> This is so stupid, and I am having a blast. Yes, I will claim... Is that a flamethrower? All right, I got my crazy leopard flamethrower equipped. Gotta make sure we take care of those aliens. Cook them up real good. They actually just taste like chicken. That's disgusting. All right, where are we going? An alien dance party? Tap to zap aliens? I I'm just supposed to... What? What? I'm just zapping all of them. Oh my gosh. Okay, I've defeated the alien dance party. We need to save the citizens. I'm not even doing anything. <laughs> I'm just... Oh, you know what? I think, okay, I think I understand. These are the humans who the aliens replaced. That makes sense. Nine of 102 citizens freed. We got a lot of saving to do. Let's move on. Okay, we're outside now. And uh, why, why is everybody arguing? Why is everybody so mad? These kids look sus. <laughs> <laughs> They're not. They're human. It's mom. Mom is the alien. Blaster. Ruin this family's day. You guys had no idea, but trust me, I've I've saved you. I promise. Possible. Okay, we moved inside of the residence, having a lovely breakfast. These are definitely aliens. Look, they're eating cupcakes for breakfast. That can't be a human thing to do. Oh, what? None of them are aliens. Okay, wait, there's gotta be another person then. Well, oh, there's someone knocking on the door. Okay, it's you, King. It's King Alien. Get him. He's delivering eggplants like a real weirdo. I didn't ask for eggplants. Okay, it's lunchtime. Who's the alien? <laughs> I, I like playing this game of not using my x-ray machine and just trying to figure out who it is just from instinct. My alien hunting instincts are telling me, uh, oh no, there's six people. Okay. Um, it's the little girl on the left. Oh my gosh. I am amazing. And it's top hat guy. No. Okay. Headphone guy. Oh my gosh. I'm so bad. Okay. It was the girl in the middle, but I got, I got the other one, right? So, okay. We, we need to vaporize you and we need to vaporize i'm good at this i'm a very good i should play more among us but i want to walk around with an x-ray machine that shows me who the actual imposter is that might be cheating oh man okay so there are three aliens um at this at this dinner party look at this guy what a smug face he has he thinks he's all that in a bag of potato chips he's not i'm pretty sure he's an alien let's see yo <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. So the lady probably isn't. Now, who is an alien at the dinner table? Who's acting the most suspicious? Everybody's just nodding their heads. Everybody's acting suspicious. I'm gonna say it's the lady at the front of the table. It's not. Okay, who is it? It's the top hat guy. Oh my gosh, they're twins. They're twinning. Look at them. All right, well, get out of here. You're an alien. Also, you, I, I'm having a hard time getting to that guy. Oh, wait, I didn't identify who the third alien is. It's it's you, you sneaker. You thought you were so sneaky. Just sitting there, nodding your head like a totally normal human being, having totally normal human interactions. I'm on to you. We've made it to the boss level. Who is King Alien? <laughs> Let's find out, okay? No one ate the sandwiches. It's so sad. None of these people are aliens. There's a traffic cone, just a giant traffic cone in the middle of your, your kitchen. Is that an alien? <laughs> Nobody was like, hey, um, where did this giant traffic cone come from? Nobody asking that question, huh? Fair enough. The aliens have such advanced technology to be able to become a traffic cone. That's amazing. Blast them. No traffic cones in this house. That traffic cone could have killed you. Wait, where's King Alien? We didn't get to, to battle with King Alien? Well, that's kind of sad, but we do get a new laser gun. All right, so it looks like we've moved underground. Are we in the sewers right now? Oh, dear. Oh, no, we're in like their, their mothership. We're in the base. Zap them. Get the king. <laughs> 
I keep missing, even though it's so simple. Oh my gosh, he, he requires more than one shot. Did we defeat the king? No, he's getting back up. This dude's tough. Pathetic. So mad. You're going to have to do better than that. I even got a new gun. Wasn't good enough. Teleport technology? These aliens have got it all. How are we going to stop them when they can teleport anywhere and take our humans and replace them? I love how the humans dance as soon as we free them. Why, why isn't the cone dancing? Now I feel like I'm not being properly appreciated. I feel like that cone should have been dancing. We're in the back alley. This is very sketchy. Of course, aliens are going to be hanging out out here. Okay, never mind. They're just at the bus stop. It's Bob the Builder. 100%. I was wrong. Okay. It's none of these people. Um, hello? Oh, oh. Picked up the people, dropped off an alien. Yep. Zap him. <laughs> I love how he's just like hanging out on the bench, just like contemplating the meaning of life. And then I blast him. We're at the police station. There's some hooligans hanging out in front of the police station, having a bit of an argument. No, these are my favorite headphones. No, they're my favorite headphones. No, you stole my style. This is my look. This is my gray and red striped t-shirt with brown shoes. And you stole it from me. How dare you accuse me of stealing it from you? This was originally my idea. That's what these guys are arguing about. They're all dressed exactly the same. Same. What a bunch of weirdos. Okay, yeah, it's definitely you. The guy without the headphones is definitely always the alien. Wait, there's another alien. I didn't do my due diligence. Okay, never mind. Um, the whole wearing the headphones things is uh, out the window now. So it's safe to say you shouldn't go around zapping people that are wearing headphones because they are not aliens. It's a good lesson to learn in a video game as opposed to real life. <laughs> what is this? Like an alien love protest? These people love the alien. Aliens. They don't want us to take them away. Okay, then you're all aliens. You're not aliens. Of course, there's an alien protesting. I mean, it makes perfect sense. Wait, is one of the cops an alien? Don't, no. Okay. So you are an alien because you don't have a sign and you're an alien because you do have a sign. Man, they're so good at blending in. If I didn't have x-ray technology, I'd be very bad at this job. Welcome back to the bus stop, I guess. Um, okay, burger guy. Oh, wait, okay, you are an alien and top hat guy is an alien. I, I feel like all of these people are strange in their own unique ways. I mean, who wears clothes like that anymore? I would say definitely aliens are the ones wearing extremely outdated clothes, but non-aliens are wearing extremely outdated clothes too. They found like the perfect town to take over because it's already extremely weird. Nothing is out of the question. Nothing is out of the ordinary when everybody is out of the ordinary. These aliens, they're so smart. Okay, hanging out at the tavern. Let's see, no aliens here. So we, we need to wait for another customer perhaps, or maybe, wait a second, that dude just went in the bathroom. What if he comes out and he's an alien. Oh my gosh, he got abducted in the bathroom. Rude, aliens, rude. I hope they at least let him go to the bathroom before they abducted him. Get him out of here. You think you're so smart. You think you're so clever. Abducting people in the bathrooms. Where will they stop? Can we talk about this new laser blaster we got though? That thing is sick. We're back on the mothership. It's time to defeat King Alien. Blast him, get out of here. I, I, they're, they're just like working on their plants. It's like he's gardening and I just walked into his house and zapped him, kind of rude. But at the same time, you know, they abducted a human before he got to use the toilet. So who's the real monster? Get out of here, get out of here. You're not getting near me. I'm too good. And there you go, we've saved even even more citizens. Where was King Alien? We didn't we didn't have to deal with King Alien this time. I guess he had more important things to do or maybe he's scared of me. I think he's scared of me.